So my idea is we write everything backwards. So to the enemy, it will look like complete gobbledygook. It's brilliant. Uh, uh, for example, if we were to write the word I, we would do it backwards, like so. I. I. Um, bad example. If we were writing the word madam, we'd do it backwards, like this. A D A M M A. Um, if we were writing the word race car, then we'd spell it backwards, uh, which would be... Yes, I think it might be back to the drawing board with that one, old Bean. Yes, perhaps you're right. I tell you, this secret code lock is a darn tricky business. Isn't it just? <sighs> well, thanks for nothing. My word. Agent Saunders? We thought you were in that prison camp at Drancy. No, I escaped. No thanks to you, idiots. Steady on now, chap. Steady on? I've just crossed the whole of occupied France with no money and no map. Did you even get my letter? Well, some time ago. I'm afraid it didn't make a great deal of sense. Well, I use Sergeant Hall's code, just like you said. Escape plans, January 2nd, send map and money. You just read every word after the punctuation, just like we discussed. Mm. Ah, every word after the punctuation. You see, we were reading every word before the punctuation. Please prepare the old goat for wedding. Why on earth would I say that? Well, we were rather confused. As was the goat. So, it turns out you're better at this secret code lark than we are. <laughs> would you mind helping us with this one, old boy? Ah, uh, yes. Now, we got this letter from Agent Blenkinsop about three weeks ago. And so far, we've been unable to work out which code he's been using. Trapped in Paris, please send help. Now, what is he trying to tell us? There's a message in there somewhere. Oh, I'm going for a bath. Do you actually think he's trapped in Paris, do you? Where's Paris? True or false? Spies in World War II sometimes used we to write letters. It's true. It worked like invisible ink. When the paper was heated, the we writing became visible. Yes, British spies had lots of cunning devices, and all the gadgets you're about to see really were used in World War II. Are you Agent Sophie? Yes, I am she. Agent Sophie, welcome to France. I am Claude, your contact in the French Resistance. Uh, I understand you have some instructions for me? Yes, they're in my suitcase. Here you go. Uh, wait a minute. You come all the way to German-occupied France to tell me I need a wash and to brush my teeth? No, of course not. Although, the secret instructions are hidden inside the soap and the toothpaste. They're written on silk. Oh, this is very clever. So if the Germans search your suitcase, they won't find anything. <laughs> Ingenious. We thought so. So tell me, what do you have hidden inside these things? Well, the hairbrush contains some spare money and the chess set has a map of France hidden in it, just in case I lose my way. Amazing. Your British secret agents have so many things hidden inside other things. It is wonderful. <laughs> oh. But I see you also have brought some dinner, and what's this? Oh la la, a bottle of wine. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Be careful with that. The bottle of wine is actually a bomb. <laughs> of course it is. I should have guessed. Next, you'll be telling me that you have hidden a machine gun inside this fish. Yes. Is it that obvious? Uh, I'll have to tell the boffins in London to work on that. They really are geniuses, you know. They've even made mines that look just like animal poo. Ah. So you are telling me... Uh, this cowpat is actually a landman. Oh, it even smells like the real thing. No, 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 that, that is an actual cowpat. I didn't bring that with me. Will you pass me the soap, please? Horrible history.